Hey guys, how's it going? Did you run a bit? <laughs> do you know what I mean? Uh, I'm actually doing the weekly properly this time. I'm going to try and do it each day of each of, of the week because, well, I'm off. So, so yeah, this is Monday. Uh, I've got a busy day. I've got a busy day. I'm going to do a video today. <clears throat> Probably centered around the grime and rap challenge. Uh, what I have, what I have discovered, what I have learned from my experience, and oh my god, am I looking forward to listening to rock music again? But it hasn't been bad. It hasn't been bad. I have discovered artists. I have got through the week um, because I love music and I can't not listen to music. So I've, I've discovered some artists. But you can, you'll already know what they are because you'd have already seen uh, the grime and rap video because the, you're watching this on Friday and I'm talking to you on Monday. It's funny how how time and videos and shit works isn't it but yeah right I've got a busy day so uh, I'm gonna do that video I've got the web show obviously um, I've also got the gym today and I have a 6:30 meeting with BBTV uh, last time I did one of these meetings we discussed how we should take the channel forward they said why don't you do that well you do the web show every Monday at 8 why don't you have some scheduling so the web show at 8 on a Monday. Why don't you do a Wednesday video at 5 and a weekly vlog on Friday so that people can see like behind the scenes, you know, because it fleshes you out as a creator and they feel closer to you and all these sort of benefits and stuff. I was like, okay, I'll try it. We're now twice as big. So, you know, listening to them, because at the end of the day, they, they manage people like Brandon Rogers, the slow-mo guys, even like Logic and shit, you know, they know how to manage in this industry, you know, and the music, and you know, so they're, they're good people to listen to. So I do, and Carmen and Sarah and some of the guys at BBTV, I know you're watching this, so hello and thank you for all your help. I truly, truly appreciate it. And I do listen. And it's, you know, it's, it's shown. When I joined them, I joined BBTV uh, last February, so February 2017, I had like 1,200 subscribers, I think. Something like that. Nothing crazy. Um, and a year later, here we are. You know, I was hoping for like 5,000 this time, like, you know, a year from from joining them, and we're on 7,000, so, and we're looking like, hopefully we can hit my new target, which is 10,000 subscribers by my birthday, which is May the 6th, which would be fucking great, um, so, so fingers crossed for that, you know, and... It's crazy, you know, what we've what we've created here, especially in 2018, you know, it's, it's really taken a serious step forward. And um, I think there's, there's many factors, you know, obviously the scheduling's a big factor. Um, sponsorships is a big factor because, you know, I can really give, give something back there. And by the way, I don't know if by Friday we've hit 50 sponsors, um, but no doubt in the editing process, if we have, I'll have put it up on the screen. Um, but if we have, thank you, and obviously I would have done the t-shirt giveaway by now, so congratulations whoever has won that. If I haven't, then it'll probably be next week. But yeah, so that's a big thing. Uh, Discord, you know, being able to voice chat with you guys and, you know, really hang out. Oh, shit, I just hit the focus. Apologies. Really hit the, uh, hit the chats with you guys outside of video time, you know. It just, you know, reinforces that kind of bond and shit. And um, got two fan channels now, the Leeds Festival Sestrems and the Reading Festival Sestrems. Uh, that's fantastic, you know, and very humbling. And, uh, you know, fucking hell, did I, I never thought I'd have, like, fan pages and shit. It's just insane. It's going fucking amazing. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. I really fucking appreciate it. I really fucking do. Um, you know, it's it's fantastic. So... Oh, this is all these videos that tend to be. I hope then you're not getting bored. Let me know if you get bored of me just talking about the success of the channel. <laughs> but I'm off now for two weeks, so it's going to be a busy two weeks of content. Uh, I've got Livy coming around uh, Friday slash Saturday uh, for a few days, so that would be nice as well. I might get her involved in the uh, in the vlog for next Friday, um, but we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, no, it's, it's going to be a good week. It's going to be a good fortnight, and I'm going to make lots of content. And hopefully, I mean, fucking hell, if we could hit like 8,000, I don't want to project too hard onto myself and set two higher goals, but if we could hit 8,000 by the end of this holiday, that would be fantastic. Um, I think it would have a lot to do with if Redden drop another lineup or not, which I think they could do in the next two weeks. Um, but yeah, we'll just have to wait and see, won't we? But yeah, guys, uh, listen, that's 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 it for Monday, so you'll probably see a bit of Tuesday now. I'm now going to do what I absolutely hate. Vloggers out there, I hate it when you do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to do it for this week. I fucking hate this. See you tomorrow.
guys, how's it going? Yeah, not too bad. Six out of ten, innit? Uh, it's fucking Cheltenham. I'm doing a few fucking horses. You know what I mean? That's it. Don't gamble. It's for mugs. Yeah, it's for mugs. It's for mugs. But I thought I'd put some horses on because I'm a fucking mug. Um, I did something called Lucky 15. So it does 15 permeations on four horses, do you know what I mean? But I did it each way, so you got to double your money, do you know what I mean? So I actually did 30 different permeations. For those of you who don't know what that means, it means I did 30 bets on four horses at 50 pence, which means I, I laid down 15 quid. Uh, I got Vision the Flow, right? Now he's already ran at 16 to 1 and he was in it. He was third all the way, went into second. Was he going to pip first? He finished sixth with half a furlong to go. Don't gamble, it's for mugs. I've got Black Court on at seven to one, William Henry at eight to one, and Min at ten to three. Uh, still to come. But uh, my cousin who works in the boogies, Bingo, did the maths and had it all have come in first. I'd have been looking about two G's. Two G's. Do you know what I mean? But um, the first one lost, so I'll probably best case can win a couple hundred quid, I don't know. Do the maths, you farting slags. But yeah, oh, it's a bit of banter in it. I don't gamble very often, so I'm not losing. You know, it's only 15 quid. At the end of the day, it's the end of the day. Do you know what I mean? If it's 15 quid, it's 15 quid. That's it. Don't gamble. It's for fun mugs. Black corn, fun lost, fun shit. Don't gamble. Hey guys, how's it going? Duty Rhino here. So I said on Monday, I hope that we hit 50 uh, sponsors for uh, the giveaway, and we did. We did. Uh, Tom Mumford won that, so congratulations. The t-shirt is on its way to you. It's been dispatched, and uh, so yeah, fan thank you to all the new sponsors as well. We're on 53 now. Just goes up and up and up, and it really is helping me get towards this full-time dream, guys, which I need more now than ever. Um, basically, at work, I put in a, uh, an appeal for a flexible contract so I don't have to work weekends so that I can really, you know, focus on the channel, focus on, you know, classes and such, focus on loads of shit. Basically, I need my weekends um, to work and to build, you know, uh, uh, things in my life. So... So I, I, you know, I asked for that. I offered um, to work more in the week, and uh, they, they they've rejected it. So because apparently they need, um, you know, the weekends are their busiest times, and I need to be available every weekend. And it's just like, you know what? Fuck this place, man. Because um, as you go, guys know, like, I don't care um and you know I, all i care about is this um and that's what i want to do as a you know when it comes to work all i care about is this and um so it's just it's a bit of a blow but it is what it is you know uh, at the end of the day youtube is is quickly you know becoming more and more financially viable which at the end of the day everyone's life comes down to figures you know you need x amount to, to get full time, you know, and as soon as it's financially viable for me to drop that place, I fucking will. But right now, I'm actually going to look for a different job because I, just, I I need those weekends. I need those weekends. So um, so yeah, that's that's about it with that. It's a bit of a fucking kicker, um, but it is what it is, you know. Obviously, that's their sort of world, and within the corporate kind of world you know they don't see individuals they just see you as a fucking tool um they don't understand that you have a life outside of work you know they're always baffled when they ask me to do extra time and i'm like sorry no i'm busy it's like well, what would you mean how dare you have a life outside of work it's like well fuck you like i have lots going on outside of you know that place but yeah, so I'm a bit bitter about it today, but it is what it is, like I say, you know, fuck it, um, I'll be out of there very soon, and you know, the last couple of months has shown that, so, just gotta keep on going, uh, and then we'll just get the fuck out of there, man, and the, the video for exposing the truth about working in retail is gonna be fucking great, but yeah, no, it's been a great week, you know, we, ch we changed things up, a bit of ASMR and that as well, which, uh, which was fun, it's had mixed reviews. Um, it was obviously me being satirical about it, I wasn't being serious with it. Although I did give it my best shot, you know. Um, 
if it made you uncomfortable, it made me uncomfortable filming it. It was cringy as fuck filming it. So, uh, and then you didn't have to edit it either. So, uh, so yeah, it was an experience. I might throw it back in every now and then because it is funny. It is fun, and a lot of people did like it. But um, we're all waiting on that next announcement. Uh, the March, hopefully, the March announcement. Uh, for Redden and Leeds lineups, hopefully that comes soon. That'll be fucking fantastic. And moving forward, guys, I might be dropping the Tinder takeover because I just prefer the Instagram roast. I think the Instagram roast is so much funnier. It's actually you guys as well, so it's not just roasting some random chicks on an app. It's actually you guys. So, you know, just it's that a little bit more fun. So um, I think next Thursday we're going to go Instagram roast again. If people really miss the Tinder takeover, we might bring it back in a couple of weeks. But um, yeah, uh, I'm also going to do a 12-hour live stream on Wednesday. That's going to be for charity. I'm going to have a Just Given page up for charity. So we're just going to be you know, playing some video games and, and chatting and, and doing all that sort of stuff for 12 hours. Probably 10 till 10, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. next Wednesday. Okay, so that's that. Now, oh my God, the Avengers Infinity War trailer dropped today holy shit for those of you guys that know me you know i love my movies you know i love my marvel and dc movies you know i love the mcu and holy shit the the next trailer for infinity war which comes out like next month at the end of next month shit man that 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 fucking trailer dude it looks sick as fuck it really does look good uh, I'm gonna say it now. I'm gonna speculate. I think I think Cap's dead. I think Iron Man is dead. Tony Stark, and um, yeah, Loki's dead, hundred percent. But they have to. They have to kill off these big characters for it to be impactful. For it to be meaningful. Obviously, you have the Time Stone and stuff within that universe, so it can be reversed. There's lots of theories going around. Theories that I really like, like the theory that. This like bearded, long-haired Captain America isn't actually their universe's Captain America. And basically Captain America dies and they go to an alternate reality and take a Captain America from a from a from a reality where in Avengers 1 Loki and his invasion worked on New York and they now have control, you know, so basically and that's that's one of the theories. I love just the thought of an alternate reality Captain America in in the MCU, and you know, obviously they do have the time stone and stuff. And there is also a theory that maybe you know Thanos will just wipe out like the Avengers bar one, and then that Avenger will go back in time or some shit and change everything. But then the problem with that is if they start resurrecting people with these Infinity Stones and stuff, it takes away the weight of dying and the meaning of a big character dying like if tony stark dies within the mcu that is fucking massive that's their number one player right there you probably put them on an even keel captain america but that's like your top man dead thanos then becomes a real threat to the mcu because he's killed one of the biggest characters you know one of the greatest things about game of thrones spoilers you watch the season one oh ned stark what a legend then all of a sudden he's decapitated it's like whoa what the fuck that's not supposed to happen that doesn't happen in in tv and movies you don't kill off the main character what the fuck so if they do that it just adds so much weight behind the threat of thanos and his character and I really hope they do. I hope they don't like, you know, kill off a minor character. Like in Age of Ultron, they killed off Quicksilver. You know, yeah, his hair was sick, but it was a bit like, well, he is only a minor character. Obviously now Scarlet Witch has come into the fray and I know within the comics she's one of the most powerful Avengers and uh, yada, yada, yada. But at the time, you know, Quicksilver was a relatively minor character within the uh, the, the film. And so for him to die, it, it you know it was an emotional moment, but it, it didn't have that impact that killing off Tony Stark, who's been who who whose movie started the whole MCU, who's been around since two thousand and eight, you know, ten years in the making. For him to die, it'll be like fuck. Okay, going into the second movie, you know, you got Peter Parker, who obviously looks up to him as a mentor. You know, you got the rest of the Avengers that have been in the movies in the past that have seen him as a leader. Um, and it's just like, fuck, okay, we now need to rally and um, save the world and avenge someone because they are called the Avengers after all. So, um, 
Yeah, no, I'm really looking forward to it. I can't fucking wait. I cannot fucking wait for this movie, man. It's going to be sick as fuck. That's the one thing with, with Marvel, man. You can just guarantee it's going to be a good movie. And you know, because they've been building up to this moment for 10 years, they're not going to fuck it. They're not going to fuck it at all. So, uh, so yeah, but that trailer, man, has got me hyped. You know, the, the Wakanda battle scenes are fucking sick. I think there is there may be a hint that the Soul Stone is in the Vibranium when there's when the sister is looking at that, like, ore. A vibranium on that little hologram thing. I think that's kind of the hint that that's where the soul stone is. Especially with spoiler for Black Panther, you know, when they go to that that other realm with the ancestors and stuff, where you know he visits the souls of his ancestors. Well, you know, so uh, so yeah. But interestingly, Thanos's plan is to wipe out half the universe, and he only wants to ha wipe out half of humanity. So he is going to leave. You know, it's not like it's just coming to the planet to destroy everything. So that's quite interesting. I, I really think they're going to flesh him out as a character uh, in this, you know. And I, there's even rumours that it's actually he's going to be the protagonist. It's actually going to be seen from Thanos' point of view, you know, which is pretty mental. And I think you're definitely going to see a backstory as well because there was that scene. It looked like a child Gamora. So it must have been on Titan. Uh, it looked like Thanos walking through a parade holding Gamora's hand, but it was a child. So... Definitely look like it's going to be flashbacks. It, you know, you might see his his motivations behind wanting to to do this. There's all theories about it being the Celestials, you know, uh, going around with the Soul Stones. Uh, sorry, with the Infinity Stones, just like wiping out races and shit. So um, there's always that fear that he wanted to theory and that he had, he wanted to attain all this power from the Infinity Stones to use against the Celestials to stop them. And also that he sees the universe as growing out of control, which is why he wants to wipe out half of it to bring balance to the universe. Now, if the biggest threat to him is the Celestials within this theory, stay with me, he may fight the Avengers. And there's a very important part. Where he goes to punch Captain America in the new trailer and Captain America stops his hand, Thanos does look shocked. Now... Obviously, he could then go on to kill Captain America. It might be his last moments. Or he may identify the Avengers as worthy adversaries and potential... Um, ...allies against the Celestials. He may think, well, fuck, these, these guys are actually quite powerful. It'd be much more worth my while to have them on board to fight the Celestials, like, you know, and I believe that I'm not going to get slaughtered by comic book fans. I think Galactus is a Celestial. So then that would bring in the Silver Surfer and all that sort of side of it. But, um, but yeah, so it, that's the route I'd love to see them go down, you know, although it would kind of turn him into kind of a hero or, a, or an anti-hero, but I don't know. I, I trust Marvel. I know they're going to fucking pull out of the bag and whatever direction they choose to take i'm sure it's going to be sick as fuck and they're not going to have all this build up to thanos's story and then waste it so but yeah, there's lots of fun theories floating about what are your kind of favorite theories have you heard any theories that i haven't mentioned today please put it down in the in the comments um but yeah this is the weekly on dude run obviously we do a lot of comedy stuff we do a lot of music festival stuff but this friday weekly it's me venting and rambling rambling about things that affect me and and things that um I enjoy thus the thus the Avengers and stuff. Um, so, so yeah, that's that's about it. Um, I'm gonna be. I got Livy coming around this weekend, so we're gonna be hanging out and stuff. Um, there may be a vi video over the weekend. There may not, but worst case, you know, you're getting that web show on Monday, and I may or I may not have a guest. So. Stay hyped, you know. Keep subscribed. Um, sponsor if you haven't already. Join the Discord. All the links are down below. It really helps me out. If anyone that wants to support financially and get me the fuck out of Pets at Home, I'll be forever in your debt. Um, you got merch as well. Uh, it's currently 30% off the merch. If you go over to Tee Public, um, there's, you got 30% off. So um, I implore you to do that. Get, grab yourself some merch. Then you get something out of it. You get something physical. The quality is fantastic. That's the feedback we've been getting. You know, the quality is amazing. So go for that, guys. But if not, just come back, watch the videos, like the videos. That supports me too. Okay, thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it. Like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye for now.